Lobby lawmakers, a lot of them primarily from southeastern Ohio, complaining about the school funding formula that you come up with. How do you address them? Some of them are saying that 80 percent of poor districts are actually receiving less money. Oh, yeah, so they're, 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 that's, first of all, that's not true. And secondly, look, anytime you have a school funding proposal, uh, the last one we had wasn't even funded. Uh, you're going to have people that are going to say, I'm not getting enough. Our whole purpose is real simple. It is to take resources and direct them to where the students are. This is not, this is not a system where we ought to be you know, figuring out how much we do for adults. It ought to be what we do for children. And you know, if you're poor, if, you're, if you are a growing population, we're going to help you per pupil more than if you're wealthy. I mean, I laid all that out in the state of the state, and the numbers are pretty clear. So, you know, I just think it's always a difficult process when you do school funding. It'd be easy to just ignore it, but we're not going to do it. And I think the other thing is some of these districts are worried about, you know, this concern about guarantees. I mean, we have some districts in the state that have lost 50 percent of their population, but we give them money as though they didn't lose any students. That means we're funding buildings and adults, not children. We're not just going to go pull the rug out for somebody on this issue of guarantees. We need to sit down as an Ohio family to make sure that we're not shortchanging children because we're unwilling to make changes. But I can't tell you when that, how that's going to happen or when it's going to happen. But at the end of the day, what people need to know is when school districts need help, we will help them based on their ability to pay. But the most important thing, dollars should be with children. And that's exactly what the school funding plan does. We believe it will be ruled, it will be ruled constitutional if it's challenged in court. And, you know, and look, this is going to be tweaked. I mean, we've got five of the biggest issues that, you know, between the turnpike and the tax bill and Medicaid and school funding and higher ed. All these things get changed. That's the legislative process, and I welcome it. Governor, you were